Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you'll learn about Facebook tagging. Tagging allows you to connect a friend or page to a piece of information posted on Facebook by including that person's name in a photo, status update, or comment. If someone tags you, you'll receive a general notification. The tagged item will appear on your newsfeed, timeline, and on your friend's newsfeeds. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to tag a friend in a status update, how to tag someone in a photo, and how to review and change your tagging settings. To share a status update, click inside the publisher box and type whatever you want. If you want to tag someone in a Facebook status update, click the head symbol in the bottom menu of the publisher. Type in the friend's name and then click on them in the list that Facebook provides for you. This will tag them in your status update. You can repeat this in order to tag multiple friends if you'd like. From there, the process is the same as posting a new status update. Then, click Post. The main way to tag is by tagging in a photo. Share a photo as part of your status update. Next to the update status at the top of the publisher is a button, Add Photos slash Video. Click on that and click on either Upload Photo Video or Create Photo Album. Either will redirect you to your computer's files. Select a file by clicking it, then click Open. Hover over the photo as it appears in your publisher and click Tag when it appears. Facebook will pick out the faces of the people in the photo. Click in the box that says, Who is this? next to a face, then type in the name of the person. Click on it in the list that Facebook provides to tag that person in the photo. Repeat this for as many people as you know who are in the photo, and then hit close. From there, the process is the same as posting a new status update. Click in the publisher, type a comment to go along with your update, then click the audience selector and choose who can see your post. Then click post. If you want to manage who can tag you in posts, start by clicking the arrow in the right hand corner to bring down the drop down menu. Then click the activity log. On the left hand menu, select what option you're looking for, whether it's posts you're tagged in or photos of you, and find the photo or post that you no longer like to be tagged in. You can click the circle with a line through it in the right hand corner of the post to bring up the editing menu. Then click report slash remove tag to stop yourself from being tagged in that post or photo. Click the box next to I want to untag myself. You can also select to have this photo removed from Facebook. When you're done, click remove tag. Then click OK. The tag has now been officially removed from this photo. If you want to manage who can tag you in posts, click the downwards pointing arrow at the top right hand corner of the page. Then select Settings. From here, select Timeline and Tagging from the left menu. The first setting you'll look at is Who can add things to my timeline? Choose from Friends or Only Me. We recommend setting this to Friends. Next, Review Posts Friends Tag You In. Turning on this feature allows you to review posts that your friends tag you in before they appear on your timeline in Newsfeed. This is useful if someone tries to tag you with some potentially embarrassing information or if they tag you in a photo in which you do not appear. You can stop people from tagging you in a post and prevent that post from appearing on your timeline. However, the post will still appear in other places around Facebook. We recommend that you enable this setting. That way, you can review everything you're tagged in. You can also review what other people see. Clicking this will show you your timeline as others would see it. You can choose either public or view a specific person. Click the downwards pointing arrow, then settings, then timeline and tagging to return to the previous page. The next setting you can change is who can see things on your timeline. Choose between everyone, friends of friends, friends, only me, or custom. We recommend changing the setting to friends. Here, you get to select who sees what others post to your timeline. Choose between everyone, friends of friends, friends, only me, or custom. We recommend changing the setting to friends. You can also review tags that people add. If a friend tags someone or something in your content, you'll be able to review it and decide whether or not you want to allow that tag before it gets posted to Facebook by enabling this feature. This includes 
when people tag themselves or tag others. When they do this, the person tagged and their friends will be able to see the post. We recommend you enable this setting so you can keep your friends from seeing or being linked with information that they wouldn't want to see if you need to. When you're tagged in a post, this allows you to decide who gets to see posts that you're tagged in. Think of this like the audience selector of tagged posts. So if you're tagged in a photo, this will determine who gets to see that picture. You can choose between friends, only me, and custom. We recommend changing this setting to friends. Now you know the ins and outs of tagging, try tagging your friends and family in photos or updates. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.